The overall goal of this procedure is to create a cellular co-culture system of two cell types using inserts with the permeable membrane, thus allowing the diffusion of secreted soluble factors. This is accomplished with a series of steps that finally place inserts containing one cell type in a multi-well tissue culture plate containing a second cell type. We start by seeding cell type number one in inserts and seeding cell type number two in a multi-well tissue culture plate. The second step is to transfer the inserts into the wells of the plate containing cell type number two. Ultimately, this gives the ability to harvest the two cell types as well as the respective supernatants. Therefore, it is possible to evaluate the effect of secreted soluble factors on the cell type of interest. In multicellular organisms, secreted soluble factors elicit responses from different cell types as a result of paracrine signaling. As such, the value of an insert co-culture system resides in its ability to offer an original way to assess the changes of cellular parameters mediated by secreted soluble factors in the absence of cell-cell contact. Insert co-culture systems offer various advantages over other co-culture techniques, such as 1. Bidirectional signaling, 2. Conserved cell polarity, and 3. Population-specific detection of cellular changes. A specific protocol to measure the toxic effects of cytokines secreted by lipopolysaccharide activated N9 microglia on neuronal PC12 cells will be detailed hereafter, thereby providing a concrete understanding of insert co-culture methodology.